physician like Lord Moran, the Queen's doctor, have one thing in common. They've both been painted by a famous artist who has revived the 15th century technique of mixing colors that the Italian primitives used. The painter, Pietro Anigoni. Come into the kitchen. Yes, that's right, the kitchen, to learn Anigoni's recipe for vivid hues. Like any Italian worth his garlic salt, Anigoni can make a tasty omelette. But he's using these eggs to bind his paints. It's a precise operation. Six parts of beaten egg to one part of oil. This could be the beginning of a mouth-watering meal. But one part of varnish has to be added as well. Now he beats it up the way Mrs. Beaton would do. And here's the pigment, a carefully weighed out quantity of cadmium red, with white wine to keep the procedure well within the realm of conceivable cookery. The wine stops the egg base from going bad when the mixture is bottled and poured as required onto his palate. It's eggs that give Anagoni's painting the texture and the spontaneity for which he's famed. These colors dry in Italian sunshine within a few minutes, unlike oils. So when you're painting in tempera, as the medium's called, you can overpaint quickly to catch the fleeting shadows and the highlights. Whether it's a beautiful woman he's painting or a controversial composition like his starker, more recent picture, Life, Anagoni's colors ensure his pictures will be talked about and some say endowed with a real majesty.